Hello! The following podcast contains adult language and material. Nice! The views expressed within the podcast belong solely to a pair of idiots and shouldn't be taken seriously. No self-respecting person should even listen to the show. How do you even get a podcast? I really hope concerts come back, because this isn't going to work out for you guys. Um... Anyway, why are you still here? There's other stuff on. Well, if uh, you're going to stay, maybe I'll stay. So crack open a cold one. Sit back. Enjoy the show. Do it for Doba's sake. Cheers ah. to you and yours. To you and yours. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Crash Test Live. We're so excited to be back, y'all. What a week. What a week it's been. Ah, oh, man. Fresh. Feeling fresh. Jack, how are you? Hey, I gotta be honest with you, man. I'm pretty, uh, me and Alex went out for, uh, for dinner last night. We went out to dinner, and we, as the kids say, got, got at it. Got um, at it? Yeah, with the drinking. Is that what they yes. say? Got at it? I think they say got at it with the drinking, and I'm mm. a little slow today. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm <sighs> feeling you, buddy. I'm like a little rough, but also like because I'm rough, I feel excited for the episode because I think the episode's going to like get me to a new place. You know I thrive I mean? when I'm hungover slash still drunk. Yeah, it's like the added pressure of like wanting to do well while feeling like you also want to curl up and die. A thousand percent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've had a nice week. How's your week been, JB? Yeah, we've been hanging out. So you yeah. know, oh, I guess I should say for the listeners and, uh, and followers, though. Exactly. It's not, not everybody's privy to our private lives together. <sighs> together. Uh, what have we done? We, um, we, you know, what we have done is... Mm-hmm. I went over to your place and you signed some all-time low merch for me because I went to my friend's uh, daughter's eight-year-old birthday party. Yep. You went to a kid's birthday party. I went to a kid's birthday party um, and she sang me Monsters and it was lovely. And she loved the all-time low merch. You showed me a video of a child rapping Bear's part and it was so sick. Yeah, maybe if I'm feeling good, I'll release it. it. Yeah, Yeah, I'll release it it to the world maybe. (laughs) We should do a version of the song where we put her vocal in for kids bop it could be, yeah, it could be sick it could be real sick um basement noise part two mm. aired yesterday that was pretty incredible ryan's I felt really, aka I felt really ryan's big day one. ryan's big day <laughs> built it up all week he was so excited um ryan i've never seen ryan more nervous for something he couldn't sleep the night before he sleep said. yeah no. It was like he just wanted everyone to know how much it meant to him that he got his own set. Yeah. And so last night was a big day for him. Big day. Um, If you haven't checked out the Basement Noise series, you can obviously look at the ticker down below. Get your tickets now. Shop.alltimelow.com. There's three more. Zach's, I believe, is next. Then mine. Then Jack's. And they're all trash. From here on out, it gets worse. <laughs> Should we play a clip uh, from one of them in case you oh, missed it? Oh, do we have it? a clip? We have a clip. Do we in have case that you, ability? In case you fuckers missed it. Let's do it. Let's do a recap. That was so dun, dun, loud, dun, but dun, so dun, good. Dun, dun, dun. That was if the song had cowbell in it. Yeah, so that was exciting. So we did that yesterday. That's that what we fun. did. fun. We watched us play our own music. Which I gotta be honest with you, it's not—it's not getting any. It's still weird. Yeah, 
I will say that like watching yourself do a concert is quite strange. Yeah. Quite strange. There's a police helicopter out my window and I'm Well, going you're in Hollywood, see. correct? Yeah. That's 24-7, I That's feel just like. Gonna happen. That's just what happens <laughs> yes, here? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um uh. We should probably check in with, you know, the cornerstone of this show, Crash Test Live. Um, oh, yeah. Every week we feature a blonde bear uh, that we feel passionate about. And this week, we're going to go ahead and check in now. BlondeBearLive.com for those interested. But let, let's see what Blonde Bear's been up to. There oh. he is, just... He's, he's, oh, you know what oh, he's he doing a lot lately? He's fishing. He's hunting. <laughs> he's been fishing a lot. He's a hungry boy. Well, he's, he's a probably gonna hungry bear. He's got to fill up with food because he's about to sleep for six months. Oh, that's the the long sleep's coming. It's it's got it. The long sleep. Look at it. Look, oh my god, he's so mad. He's so. He how is he fish. more agile than I am? Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> he hates those fish. You know what's crazy that a lot of people don't know is that bears and and salmon have a really long standing. Uh, hatred towards one another it's not just that they do it for like for nutrients they do it out of hate do you, they kill because they enjoy it yeah they they murder for pleasure do they only eat salmon are they that particular about what that they're <laughs> they're, bears oh this bougie. isn't salmon mm. yeah no thank you mm. Mm. i will be having salmon this evening i just have to go splash around in this pond um yeah so we should probably get ryan and jeff in here huh See what they're doing? Yes. They murder for pleasure. The... <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, hi, Jeff. Hi. Hi. What's going on? I was just Googling you know? what, what do bears hate? Uh, and I was typing what bears might eat, like picnic baskets or honey. What else do they, they do. like? They eat honey straight from a beehive. What? Other bears, cows, ants. <laughs> Fungi. Other b- Hang on. Hold. Pump the brakes. <laughs> no, on, you can't just going. go to other. You can't go to cannibalism second and then list other things like it's normal. Dog what do they eat? Uh, you know, like snacks, honey, other bears, food. treats. This is this list. Hang on. Fungi, dog food, garbage. There's 15. Dandelions, skunk, cabbage, moose, seeds, whales, eggs, grass. How they eat grass whales? Last? What the fuck whales? is a bear eating a whale? <laughs> It's like what soda. What are you looking at? Uh, soda, bears. purple stuff, Sunny D. Yeah. <laughs> Polar bears. Uh, whales? Wow. Apparently, according to soyummy.com, and we all got to trust soyummy.com. <laughs> Our leading expert in uh, in what things what eat is soyummy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. Nice. Why not? How's uh, oh, people how's in Los the chat are saying California? polar bears? Polar bears eat whales. Yes. Makes sense. I would I would pay good money to see a polar bear take down a whale. <laughs> There's a uh, yeah, subreddit I that I follow that has videos like that, and it's 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 rough. But sometimes okay. sometimes right. you have to watch things. No, you don't. Sometimes I like to watch things like that because it reminds me of my place in the world that we're all just animals, you know, that we're all just fighting our way through life. Who's who's at the top? Huh. If if humans are like here and granola bars are down here, where what's <laughs> above on us? on the food chain or granola bars? <laughs> I think Grubby. like. It's, a, ch- a, cheetah, a blonde, a blonde bear cheetah thingy. Like they're out there. Yeah. Cheetahs are above humans, right? Yeah, we're right in the middle. We're above I'm granola. I'm pretty sure humans. We're are... slightly above granola bars. <laughs> Just above. Where does a worm fall in this? What was the What was the animal that like was a big meme? If you, oh, the honey badger. They're probably up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they don't. Fuck. They don't give a shit about anything. No. Is that the apex predator? Is that Is that the one? I think the that's badger? the one. Yeah. I, I can beat the shit out of a honey badger. <laughs> Just slap it. No. no bad say that. No. Bad. Ryan, I did something uh, for you today. And uh-huh. it's been, I'm two minutes in and it's already really hard. What? Um, oh, let me guess. Right. Can you move your mic closer to you? Close. Close. Mm-hmm. Uh, so my chair has this effect to swing back, which I'm assuming makes editing my voice pretty difficult. Oh. Squeakies? Oh. So you're moving around no, a little more. No, yes, because I'm like, yes. I'm moving around, so it probably makes it hard to edit my voice because yes. I'm further away from the mic and closer now. But um, I don't like it. I'm two minutes in, and I hate it because I've so, constricted my chair. Let's, let's, let's go backstage at Ryan Dawson Studios real quick. Yeah. Yeah. So we, I rely heavily on a, on a hardware device called a compressor. And what mm-hmm. a compressor does, it says, no matter how loud or how quiet you are, this is all going to be the same volume. So what ends up happening is when you back up like this, the compressor matches that volume, but instead of it just being your voice, hey, it's Jeff. all of your room. Hey, Jeff, no, how are you today? 
Hey. Just a few more minutes. Wait, I think so, we should talk. You, I think we should see how Jeff's doing. In so I can do this, and it's fine. The was invented by Robert. Can Neves you guys shut the fuck up? <laughs> Wait. So this is okay. This is okay now. <laughs> no, don't do it. Because I'll. I'm bad. All right. All right. Hey Jeff. Hi. <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, hey, it's good to be here. Thanks, thanks for having me. Yep. I'm, Tell uh, us about your forest. While I'm posted up in Forest Gump's driveway here. And just, <laughs> Is that Enjoying what that the is? foliage? No, it's just oh. I looked up really beautiful foliage. I, I mean, just kept I'm, on running. That's right. <laughs> Reed, Reed just muted me as I was talking, and it's like this the second presidential debate. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah. how have they not done that before? By the way, how is that because just not oh, a default that asshole thing? that keeps interrupting all the time? <laughs> are you talking about? Are you talking about Sorry, guys. I saw the funniest Forrest Gump uh, meme today, and I have to say it. It's first of all, it's a picture of, of Jenna. Jenna. And, and it's who is the forest, forest, by the way? Yeah, who's forest. the worst? It, it goes, by Forrest. I'll be back when you're a shrimp billionaire and I'm a single mom with AIDS. <laughs> oh, my, oh God. my God. It's so oh. fucked. Darn. Oh. Wow. Uh. Wow. You know, she was there uh, at House of Cards. Robin Wright is her name. Huh. Oh, my God. Is that Robin Wright? Mm-hmm. No, no fucking way. Isn't that a hilarious right. joke I just made up? Yeah. <laughs> is it? it seems like it's probably true. Why would he make that up? This is, this is a dog right. back here. All right, I, we'll I, I, I saw Forrest Gump at such a young age where I had that impression of Jenny is like, oh, like when I grow up, like this is what I have to look forward to. Like this someone is what that's love gonna, is. This is what love is. Like Jenny she is fuck, love. She fucked Turns me out. up, man. Yeah. Wait, did you just have that meme ready in case we brought up Forrest Gump? Yeah, I don't know. I literally just downloaded it today. It was really good. He's always got it waiting. Uh, in waiting. your computer, Jack. So it was 1931, and Rupert Neve had this idea for an audio device. <laughs> Compression. 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 Um, <laughs> guys, we're doing a Crash Test Live Halloween costume contest. It's coming up soon. Halloween is soon. Show us your costume. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love that image so much. Hashtag CTL costumes. Uh, submit your costume to info at crashtestlive.com if you'd like to be part of the contest. Um, I figure we can't all be out uh, trick-or-treating this year. Yeah. Giving each other treats and confections. So mm. uh, what better way to celebrate the seasonal holiday than to meet up here and here's some of our costumes from the past. <laughs> What's going on in that one picture where I just look fucking depressed as hell? Why do I look so sad? Uh, that's your resting phase, no? I guess so. I just look high as fuck. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the it's like that uh, that interview with Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck when they're talking about oh. doing Batman vs Superman. I'm Affleck in that in that picture. Just Damn fucking it, thinking about my whole life. Yeah. Oh man. That's so good. But yeah, so enter now, and uh, we want to see your costumes. Uh, we're excited about it. It's, it's the only way we can celebrate together. Um, NASA successfully landed on the Bennu asteroid. That's true. Really? Yeah. What does that mean exactly? I don't know. It's just here yeah. on the run sheet, so I figured I'd mention it. Fair enough. Um, it was Jeff Goldblum's birthday on October the 22nd. Ooh, our prince. Our, our prince, prince daddy. Chef. Love you, buddy. Um... October is National Bullying Prevention Month, so be sure to prevent the biggest bully of our lifetime from getting a second term as president. Huh? Huh? Vote. Vote. Fucking vote. It's time now for wonderful news. Let's go! Let's go. Coming to you live from CTL Studios is wonderful news. I, I thought it was an alien. Iron Man balloon triggers panic in town. A balloon filled with gas resembling Iron Man was spotted over a town near Bata Parsal village. The balloon sparked fears of an alien invasion among the residents. A crowd gathered at the spot to see what some of them thought was an alien, officials said. It was a balloon filled with air that had gone up in the sky and later came down and got stuck in the bushes along the canal. Uh, a part of the balloon was touching the flowing water <clears throat> in the canal, which had led the balloon to shake a little bit. Um, unbeknownst to spectators, this made for an anxious watch police said so a balloon of iron man got people riled up did you notice that every time holy shit oh it's actually an iron man balloon it's terrifying god why is it in that position why is he why is he like he's ready for insertion i don't want to use the term <laughs> slut dropping but why is he slut dropping he's doing the move that i do during birthday uh, on stage uh, um wait have you noticed that in every movie going back to since the beginning of movies or just real life, every kind of alien 
sighting has been blamed on like a hot like a balloon like a hot air balloon a gas balloon and a, so a weather balloon was the swamp gas reflected off mm-hmm. yeah. it's the men mm-hmm. in black explanation it's the men in black and then you got the whole right uh you get zapped yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah wait what were you talking about um i don't know something about balloons hmm um we were talking about uh your name is alex you play in a a, a rock big group i what yeah um, like a like I'm a geologist. You you said before you turn 33, you're gonna give Jack all your money. Oh, I did say and that. And you, okay. you transferred over to my account in the Caymans. Venmo. I'll Venmo you. <laughs> How much can you send via Venmo in one transaction? Send me two thousand dollars a day for the next fifteen years. <laughs> Put the money in a brown paper bag. Leave it by the left tire of the. <laughs> Mover. A man accused of masturbating in a park parking lot uh, claims that he was playing air drums in his truck. We've all been nice. there. Hell Folks, yeah. we've all been there. Uh, a man with a history of perverse criminal charges was arrested this week after he was allegedly seen, allegedly seen fondling himself on LSU's campus. Uh, the arrest records say that the incident happened September 23rd in the parking lot outside Patrick Taylor Hall near the edge of campus. Um, a person walking past said he saw James Cousins, 72! Watching a female student from his truck. Ooh no! It got it was Ooh. the story was completely fine. Like whatever, everyone jerks off in their car, but like, right? Not to, to young students. Uh, no. Like, no, 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 nope. no. Bad boy, Patrick. No, he's a bad boy. The passerby told police it appeared Cousins was masturbating while he watched the student enter the building. The witness said he couldn't see Cousins' genitalia. Um, but he said he could tell what was happening based on the way he was moving his arm. Maybe he was Uh, just waving. Well, that literally his excuse was that he was playing air drums. Just who masturbates with two hands? If I just sit here and do the podcast like this, what do you guys think? Is this, is this air drumming? Uh, Do do we have a, can we bring in our expert on air drumming? (laughs) Jeff, Jeff, can we bring in our expert on air drumming? (laughs) What does, this look like, what does this look like to you? Am I air drumming or am I, you know? It's tough to tell. Jeff is our, just, Jeff is our expert uh, drummer. Um, wait, Jeff, do you say we have breaking news? Oh, sh- oh shit, really? Hey, boys. Rick, Rick. with breaking news? Hey. Are you kidding me? Hot, hot, hot boy Rick. Uh-oh. Sorry to interrupt, but I got some pretty wild video game news for you this week. Rick, can we talk about how good you look before you do the breaking news? Rick. <laughs> You Let's sexy son of a bitch. You, look. you can't Thank one you. up us. God Thank damn you. it. You handsome motherfucker. Um, where did you get that shirt? I got Tell it us. at a garage sale, actually. How much? Five dollars. That's all five it takes. Bucks. Five, five, five dollar dollars foot as long. good as Rick. That's it. Five all right. dollar foot. So What's our news? Pretty wild. Uh, Atari just crashed the console party with a brand new console. Uh, the PS5 and Xbox both launched new consoles, consoles in a mere matter of weeks, with both consoles hitting shelves in November of this year. Wow. Uh, however, there's another new gaming console launching in November this year also, and this one comes with access to more than 100 games. Uh, the new console is the Atari VCS, a new version of the classic VCS, which I must say what? looks phenomenal. It is beautiful. It's so clean. The front of it is like a wood inlay. Uh, with like it. some backlights and everything, it's it's beautiful, um, and it's coming out this November alongside the PS5 and Xbox. And unlike the original Atari VCS, uh, which first went on sale in 1977, the new Atari VCS comes with a raft of new tech to make it 2020 ready, including an AMD Ryzen CPU, an AMD Radeon GPU and eight gigabytes of RAM, which is expandable. Uh, So it can pump out games in 4K HDR. Uh, It also comes with a USB 3.0, HDMI, and Ethernet port uh, for wired connections, as well as a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for wireless connections. Holy hell. I kind of got something I got to say. Uh-oh. Okay, go ahead. So I I want us to talk about this, but I, I looked it up. The price, right? $400 Four hundred dollars. Yeah. They're asking for Ooh. this console. Ugh. PS Five, four hundred dollars. New mm-hmm. Xbox, five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. And I watched like a trailer. It literally right now only plays classic Atari games. So what's the point of having that in four K? In my opinion, um, and like old indie games that are now on phones or have been on like the Switch for years. It feels very like it feels very um, like bougie and like kind of like. Yes. Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh, 
they're servicing like a crowd that wants like something throwback. Something. Yeah, who would want one of those? You know. (laughs) And it's cool. It's like it has it it has streaming built in, so it's gourmet. It's a gourmet operation. Yeah, it has streaming built in, and it also will act like you can load an operating system into it, so it'll act like a computer. So for five hundred dollars, I think that's cool. But I mean, essentially, you can buy an an Amazon Fire Stick and have a streaming device that can play classic video games as well on it. Yeah, uh, I agree. They called me Fire totally Stick in high school. It's nostalgia baiting. That's what it is. Yeah, but they are getting it's me on how it looks. I think it's I think it's a a, a nice looking console. Um, but I just will get say a block this. of wood. <laughs> Yes. Just get a nice Fair. polished block of wood and. Put I it do there. love that Ricky comes in with a breaking news every week. Like that's like a thing. I would like that a lot, actually. This is the first time it's happened, Jack. Yeah, no, I would like this to continue. You want it to be more? Okay, let's yes. do it more. Rick, All keep right, that boys. in mind. Can we have you back. The show. Fuck Love Atari. It. See you, Rick. Can't wait. <laughs> All right. Nice. All right. I like him. All right. Should we just hand the show over to Ricky? Oh yeah, he's professional. Hormel releases a bacon-scented face mask. Throughout the coronavirus pandemic, doctors have stressed the importance of wearing face masks to help stop the spread of COVID-19. If you're bored of your regular old mask, Hormel has a suggestion for you, and it involves bacon, which I'm not mad about. According to a press release, Hormel has released a face mask that smells like one of America's favorite breakfast meals. The release says the black label breathable bacon is a first of its kind innovation. It sounds like a Jeff thing. <clears throat> Are we sure that this isn't a Jeff thing? Um, <laughs> It uses the latest in pork scented technology to infuse the fabric with an aroma of bacon. So now you don't no. have to go around all day smelling your own terrible breath is what we're getting. <laughs> we all know your breath stank. Get this I carry a around video. Liz, I carry around Listerine strips. You know this. Yeah. Let's watch this video. I'm curious. Fucking song, what though. the fuck was that? <laughs> that song though. I'm what the hell was that? <laughs> this is the weirdest year of our lives, uh, man. Like it's it cannot get weirder than that. I was saying before, like I feel like I said this months ago. <clears throat> when we're when we're through this pandemic, yeah, there will be a moment where we all look back on some of the things that we all collectively did as a people. <sighs> yeah, because and because it was under the umbrella of like, oh, it's a pandemic. We can get away with this shit right now mm. and we're gonna look back and it's gonna be like ooh, should i have done that it's gonna be there's gonna be some really like awkward high school photo moments it's the classic the jurassic park line pardon it's the classic jurassic park line and what line is that jeff i, I might need your help here <laughs> <laughs> you know it's that classic line oh <clears throat> uh, the the scientist one what, what are you talking about which, which <laughs> line uh, the one is like we did. We should, oh, God damn it! It's too long. I can't. I can't do it. I need a that script. That was great. That was really great for everyone listening and watching at home. Thank you for setting uh, that we, moment up. And then we can cut it, we it. Cut it out in post. Yeah, 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 yeah. Would you? What do you think of a scented mask? I kind of like the idea. Why? Because then not only you're gonna smell like bacon as well. Do you want to smell like bacon? Like I don't think Always. that's a thing. Oh. Always. And you're gonna love it. Famous fish that ate all his friends gets cheered up. By his 16th birthday party. Uh, Crash Test Live are not the only ones celebrating a sweet 16 this week. Hey, a grumpy faced grouper named Miko in a Finland aquarium was more down in the mouth than usual after the facility temporarily closed to the public due to the pandemic. So the aquarium staff threw him a birthday party. Uh, he missed seeing human visitors. How do they know this? Did he tell them that? That's bullshit. Uh, <laughs> since the shutdown in the spring, Miko's caretakers noted that the already solitary fish seemed listless and apathetic. Oh, listless and apathetic. Sounds like my Friday night. So, I feel like this is hitting. <laughs> this is hitting too hard right now. Yeah. Is there a picture though? Uh, there are pictures. Uh, Miko, oh. who arrived at the aquarium in 2007, is a hefty fish. He's a big boy, thick boy, thick fish. Oh, he's a big boy. Thick fish. Uh, he's 35 pounds. Look ah, at that guy. Jesus fuck. That's God. right. That's right. How, how can that thing look anything else other than lethargic and sad? So he started eating the other fish in the tank. Is what happened. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, why so did they, they throw? 
So they threw him a party? <laughs> yeah, they threw him a party. They started keeping him company because he was getting angry and aggressive and lashing out. Oh, my God. What the, the moral of the story here, folks, is, you know, the year is hard. This year is hard. And if you're an angry fish, don't eat your friends. Don't eat your friends. Don't eat your friends. <laughs> or, or we'll throw you a party. <laughs> we will throw you a party if you eat your friends. Okay? We're going to take a quick break when we get back. Script tease returns. Don't go anywhere. This is Crash Test Live. What is that? I love that. (laughs) I love that. Uh, Great intro. How are we feeling? Hi, Rye. Good. How are you guys doing? Are you feeling loose? Did you do your acting warm ups? Your Catlin Stanis? Yeah, do a little like. Yeah. The lizard I'm ready. I'm ready for some improv, Rye. What do you have for us? Boseman's bloody. All right. So. Bobby Brown's bloody body. Sorry. Do we need to set up the, um, do we need to set up the, you, uh, the bit, the bit, the segment being that it's only the second time we've done this. Yeah. Come on. Give us, give us a setup. So this is a new segment called script tease and I, Jeff maker and Reed McMullion figure out a scene from a movie, whether it's a scene that we love or the general public loves that, but generally a scene that people know. And I find the script for it or write a script for it, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I assign parts to Alex and Jack. And then Jeff and I fill in the gaps with other parts. And then a few lines into the script, we throw curveballs at the boys, meaning speak with an accent, do this, do that. Your character is now blind. If you guys watched the show last week, we did Jurassic Park. And I ended up sounding like a weird, fucked up David Attenborough while talking about velociraptors. And Jack sounded just like Spicoli. Um, (laughs) And it was really impressive, actually. And I've watched it a few times. So, without further ado, this week's scripties is... <laughs> let's mean let's girl. fucking Jeff. go, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. <laughs> All right. Well, so, All right. Jeff All right. and Alex. Um, Let's go. In your in your inboxes yeah. is a PDF of the script. The yeah. password is doo-doo. That's D-O-O-D-O-O. <laughs> All right. I'm okay. in. I'm in. All right. All right. Caden Heron, who's played by Lindsay Lohan, will be Jack. Regina okay. George and Janice Ian will be Alex. You have two characters. Okay. Jeff will be playing Miss Nor- Norbury, That's Mrs. Right. George, and Karen Smith. Mm. I will be Damien, Gretchen Wieners, and the narrator. Wow. Okay. This is a big okay. one, guys. This is a big one. Are you guys ready? Yeah. <sighs> so this is a different scene, right? This isn't the scene we just watched. It it is. That's part okay. of the scene. Okay. So, so right now we're so yeah, no voices yet. We just go for it, right? We just, just go for I'll, it. Yeah, yeah. I'll put in. This is the yeah. uh, exterior of Regina's gorgeous lakefront Victorian house. Um, as you can see in Jeff's screen, that's where we are. Yep. The girls pull up and get out, and let's go. Wow, your house is really nice. I know, right? As Regina walks ahead, Gretchen whispers to Katie. Gretchen? Sorry. Sorry, guys. Make sure you check out our mom's boob job. They're hard as rocks. We cut to the interior of Regina's house. The girls enter. In the living room, Regina's seven-year-old sister Kylie is watching MTV and giving a large teddy bear a lap dance. As the girls head inside, Mrs. George, an energetic blonde, bursts out of the kitchen. Hey, hey, hey. How are my best girlfriends? Hey, Mrs. George, this is Katie. Hello, sweetheart. Welcome to our home. <laughs> Mrs. George walks towards Katie and hugs her, probing Katie with her rock-hard boob job. Just so, you, just so you know, if you want anything, don't be shy, okay? There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Right, Regina? Please stop talking. Okay, I'm going to go treat you gals to some hub day treats. Okay, at this part in script tease. Alex, you will be continuing. You will be continuing your portion of your characters in a thick male-driven Brooklyn accent. Jack, <laughs> okay, you will be doing your character as Borat. No, <laughs> no. All right. Regina opens the door to her huge bedroom. It looks like something out of Cribs: four-poster bed, Moroccan throw pillows, etc. 
This is your room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, it was it was my parents' room, but I I made him get a train. <laughs> Regina opens an armoire to reveal a kick-ass stereo. She puts on girly pop music. <laughs> Katie, do you even know who sings this? Um, the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. She's like a Martian. God, my hips are so huge. <laughs> oh, please. I hate my calves. At least you could wear halters. I've got these man shoulders. I used to think there was just a fat and skinny. Apparently, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with your body. My hairline's weird. <laughs> my paws are huge. My nail beds suck. The three girls look at Katie. It's her turn. I have a really bad breath when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Ew. Mrs. George, Mrs. George enters excitedly carrying a tray with cocktails on it. Hey, you guys, happy hours from four to six. The girls each take a drink. Is there alcohol in this? Oh God, honey, no. I'm not that kind of mother. Where, do you think I am? Fuck. Uh, why, do you want a little? Because if you're gonna drink, I prefer you do it in the house. No, I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. George, Mrs. George picks up the family dog and holds it. The dog chews on one of Mrs. George's <laughs> nipples. She can't feel it. So, you guys, what's the four one one? What's everybody up to? You know, what's the hot gossip? And tell me everything. What are you listening to? What are the cool jams? Hey, mom, could you like go fix your hair? <laughs> okay, you girls keep me young. God, I love you so much. Karen pulls a scrapbook out of the drawer. Oh my God, I remember this. I haven't looked at that in forever. Check it out, Katie. It's our burn book. We cut girls' pictures out of the yearbook and wrote comments. The girls leaf through the book, and Katie is grossed out by how mean some of the writings are, including something horribly written about her friend Janice. Katie accidentally repeats something Janice said about Damien, but the plastics take it seriously and write it in the book. Katie is ashamed. Now we're cutting to a new scene. Whoa. Alex, you are still, you are still in your Brooklyn accent, and you are, you are now Janice. Okay. We're in the interior of a Bath and Body Works. Janice is behind the counter working. Her hair and makeup choices do not look appropriate with her Hunter Green apron. I don't know why that's in there. Okay, go ahead. And they, ha and they have this book, this book, the burn book, where they write mean things about the girls in our grade. Hey, uh, w what does it say about me? You're not in it. Those bitches. <laughs> Damien brings over some skincare product. Will this help minimize my pores? No. <laughs> Katie. You gotta steal that book. No way! Come on. We could publish it and then everyone would see what an axe wound she really is. I do not steal! Sorry guys, I lost my spot here. <laughs> I do not steal! Damien approaches with a bottle of rosemary mint foot spray. Hey, that's for your feet! Katie, there's two kinds of evil people. People who do evil stuff and people who see evil stuff being done and don't do nothing to stop it. Well, does that mean I'm more morally obligated to burn that lady's outfit? Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Is that Miss Norbury? Miss Norbury is browsing on the other side of the store. She's wearing an odd outfit and vest with a lot of buttons and flair on it. God, I love seeing teachers outside of school. It's like seeing dogs walk on their hind legs. <laughs> Miss Norbury sees them and comes over. Oh, hey, guys. What's up? I didn't know you worked here, Janice. Uh, yeah, uh, moderately priced soaps on my call-in. Uh, so, are, 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 you, are you shopping? No, no, no. I'm just here with my boyfriend. Camera pans to an old, old man dressed like he's in a bike gang. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm joking. Sometimes older people make jokes. My Nana takes her wig off when she's drunk. Well, your Nana and I have uh, something in common. No, actually, I'm here because I bartend a few nights a week down at the PJ Calamities. So, Caddy, uh, I hope you join the Mathletes. We start in a couple of weeks, and I would love to have a girl on the team, just so you know, so the team could actually meet a girl. <laughs> I think I'm going to do it. You can't join <laughs> Mathletes. It's social suicide. All right. Thanks, Damien. Well, uh, this has been sufficiently awkward, um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. No, oh, man, this is bleak. <laughs> so, what are you going to see Regina again? I cannot spy on her anymore. It's weird. Come on. She's not going to find out. It'll just be our little secret. New scene. We're inside of Katie's kitchen. The phone rings. Katie answers it. Hello. I know your secret. <laughs> oh, God. I'm busted. Just start apologizing and crying. No, play it cool. 
Secret? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gretchen oh told me you like Aaron Samuels. I mean, I don't care. Do whatever you want. But let me tell you something about Aaron. All he cares about is school and his mom and his friends. <laughs> is, that, is that bad? But if you like him, that's fine. I could, like, talk to him for you if you want. Really? You would do that? I mean, Trust nothing me. embarrassing, right? Trust me, I know exactly how to play it. But wait, aren't you so mad that Gretchen told me about this? No. You can tell me if you are. It was a bitchy thing to do. Go yeah, it was pretty bitchy, but I'm not mad. I mean, I guess she just liked my attention. <laughs> See, Gretchen, I told you she wasn't mad at you. I can't believe you think I like attention. Okay, oh, uh, wait. Okay, love you. See you tomorrow. They all hang up. Katie slumps against the wall. And see. <laughs> Yay. I didn't realize Yay. I had a last line there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sweat my ass off, and this is a full sweatsuit here. That's really oh, good. <laughs> it's a full suit. From head wait, to we, gotta do, we gotta do these. Jeff, where did, you, where did you get that on the road? <laughs> where did you find that? I have my I have my ways, okay. <laughs> oh my god! I, 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 24, uh, 24 I, hours I Jeff oh. today, and I was like, "Hey, do you still have that blonde wig?" As if he carries the blonde wig from Halloween four <laughs> years ago with him all the time. And he does. Uh, and, oh, oh my way, I'm, I'm glad you asked. My number one item. <laughs> oh man! And it sounds like he's about to inhale a 12 foot New York City pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, well done, guys. Come on. Well done picking a scene. That's a great scene. That was that played very, very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, right. have you guys seen the new Borat? No, not yet. I haven't. No oh, spoilers. It's, it's, it's tomorrow. It. It's but I journey. figured it was it was apropos to do that. It's well done. Yeah. Hey, nice one. Good job. Good job, great guys. Scene. <laughs> great job. Well We're gonna take a quick break when we get back. Uh snacks. It's time for snacks. Don't go anywhere. Oh, hi. Nice. Welcome back. Hi. <clears throat> hi. 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 It's time for another installment of Jack Schnacks, presented by Jack, but eaten by Al. I got a little jealous about all the snacks you were getting to eat <clears throat> over those first few eps. And so mm -hmm. I inserted <clears throat> myself into you and I said, hey, oh. it's time for me to eat something. It's right. I'm gonna, I will be the eat eating now. I will be doing... <laughs> I will be. I will be doing the eating. I will be now. the one who eats now. Um, so, with that in mind, uh, I have a snack. Do you know what it is? I sent it to you as a gift. Yeah. You said you like candy corns, so yeah. I last went down that road. Show, yeah. Last yeah. week on the show, we debated whether or not candy corn was good. Yeah. Uh, the consensus was that it is not. Um, in a weird act of. Hatred and retaliation, defiance. despite the fact that I lost. <laughs> defiance. Truly just defiance. Uh, Jack has continued to punish me by making the snack this week. <sighs> Turkey dinner candy corn. Turkey Ew, fucking dude. dinner candy corn. Ew, mm. dude. Like, so, what? what the fuck? Last week it was something delicious. It was fall related. It was yummy. Mm. I enjoyed it. This is Brax Brax turkey dinner I think, candy I think corn. Brax. Brax. <laughs> By the way, what a shitty brand name. Yeah. Brax. It's been oh, around since like guy? the twenties. Who's I that think. guy making Thanksgiving flavored candy corn? Oh, that's Brack. <laughs> that's Uncle Brack. Um, the flavors are green beans. <clears throat> I'm throwing up in my mouth. The flavors are green beans, roasted turkey. Cranberry sauce, ginger Ooh. glazed carrot, sweet potato pie, and stuffing. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see if you if you mush it all together, if it tastes like... Is that the move, do you think? If you mush it all together, if it tastes like a Thanksgiving dinner. This, is fu this fucking smells like I just opened the gates to hell. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, are they different? Are each, yeah, each... there's a bunch of different flavors and different, like... 
colors oh, and shapes. You gotta put them all together and have a meal. That's what I'm saying. This is Thanksgiving dinner in a candy corn form. This is like ASMR right now. I'm sorry, guys. It's awful. Americans will make candy. It's true. Oh, God. Will you, will you show them to us? I'm interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like trying to take some out. So there's like, there's red ones. Where's my camera? There's red ones. There's brown ones. There should There's be green, green ones. One. Ooh. Yeah. Are uh, you gonna do them all together or what are you gonna do? I think I gotta do like one at a time and evaluate as I go, right? I think so. Kind of like make the full meal in my mouth. Almost like a Harry Potter jelly bean type thing. Yeah. What does he say? What's the, what's the quote? Alas, <laughs> earwax. Something like that. <laughs> nice nice um, accent. All right, so. I'm guessing the green one is probably green beans. Yes. So I'm gonna start with the green beans. Oh, fucking hell. Is it good? No. <laughs> oh God, I'm coming over later. I kinda wanna try these now. <laughs> Ew. Mm. Ew, dude. It's like, uh, it's like. <laughs> The worst part is that it's it's um, it still vaguely tastes like candy corn. Yeah. <laughs> oh God! What the fuck? What is that? What was that know. one? That one just tastes like air freshener. That could be gravy. That has to no. That's the carrots. That's the carrots for sure. Oh, yeah. this is fucking awful, dude. I thought I don't know. I'm coming over later. I hate this, but I can't stop. I, okay. Put them, put them all together, baby. Oh, that's gravy. That's gravy. <laughs> that's the gravy one. <laughs> oh, dude. I just smelled my own breath. This is the worst. It's got to be better than bacon. <laughs> I can't stop doing it, though. Oh, God. Cranberry sauce. Pretty good. That one's got to be great, right? Okay. This is fucking terrible. If you put them all together, do they taste like dinner? No. All right. No, it tastes like dinner. It tastes like fucking sh hot shit. <laughs> oh god, that's the worst snack I've ever had. So okay. what do you give okay. it? <laughs> so I got to do a handful. Ryan's saying I have to do a, like a full meal. Oh god, Uncle Brack, you piece of shit. <laughs> okay. Mm 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 mm. Nope. No. No, 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 no. Hell yeah. One, one out of 10. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking no. Oh, uh, fuck, I love that. Someone, someone had commented it is like Willy Wonka, like. Dude, I'm sweating. Oh, let's go. I'm perspiring. I'm having a panic attack, I think. Ugh. Oh, man. <sighs> That's fucking awful. And you're hungover, so that probably doesn't help. <laughs> Dude. What's the worst part about it? The worst part about it is that at the end, it still kind of vaguely tastes like candy corn. So oh. not, only, <laughs> not only are you violently assaulted by awful taste of Thanksgiving dinner, then at the very end, you're like, mm, but it's kind of sweet. <laughs> Ew. Like, oh, I got to try this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't no. throw them away. Save them. Save them for daddy. Highly. I don't. I cannot recommend this. I, can't. I cannot recommend this. So <sighs> fuck you, Jack. Uh. Fuck you, the rest of the Crash Test Live crew for sending me these. Fuck you all for making me do this. I hope you've enjoyed this segment at my expense, my peril. Sorry, sorry Russ. <laughs> sorry, Russ. Ugh. Let's play Are You Smarter Than Jack? I need to, I need to, I need a minute. I need a human I'm minute. ready, baby. Brain food. Ah, it's so bad. It's so bad. Okay, let's go. Come on. I'm still fucking reeling from this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just continue to get broke. 
What a fucking nightmare. What a bad. Okay. Thanks for watching our show, everyone. <laughs> Listening to our show. This is a disaster. I don't think mm. I'm going to be able to keep it together for the rest of the episode. Um, it's time it's now for Are You Smarter Than Jack? It's in the back of my teeth. And I can, te I just, all I taste is is this mess. That's why candy um, corn suck, because if, if you don't like it, it's stuck there forever anyways. I'm living with this now. I'm living yeah. with it. Um, so, our contestant today, her name is Kyra. Hello. Kira? Kira. Sorry. Her, uh, she's 22. She's from New York. Oh. Uh, her favorite all-time low album is Don't Panic. It's longer now. Um, she's listened to every episode of Full Frontal. Mm. Huh? It's pretty good. Uh, recently graduated college with a bachelor's in clinical psychology and a minor in French. Bonjour, Fuck. indeed. Shit. Bonjour, indeed. Um, <laughs> I'm st I can't. Uh, started a YouTube channel. Oh, this sucks. Uh, where she talks about true crime cases involving black people. That's very cool. Cool. Um, she wants to do a late birthday shot with Alex and Jack. Let's go! Welcome uh, to the show, Kira. Hi. Kira. Hey, girl. My name is Kyra. You Kyra, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Kyra. Your, your hoodie is fire. Oh, thank you. It's, it's yeah. so <laughs> I spent way too much money on it, and I bought it for myself for Christmas. <laughs> I love that. That is so good. I love it. I love it. Um, how you doing? I'm all right. I'm here. I'm very excited to be here. I'm so happy. I have I have no idea how the fuck I got here. <laughs> <laughs> I ask myself that every morning. Determination. <laughs> and uh, sending an email. Yes. Um, <laughs> are you are you familiar with the way this game works? Yes, I am. All right, good, good, good. Uh, for the people at home, I have to explain the rules. There are six categories of questions. Each question is more intricate than the next. The challenger answers first, then Jack answers a different question from the same category. If no one has any correct answers after six rounds, we go to the bonus round, um, or sometimes we just do it for fun. Uh, reminder, Jack has no prior knowledge of the questions. Uh, whoever has the most answers right at the end wins a Hewlett Packard printer. And I want a printer. Jack t -shirt. You want the printer, right? I want that printer. I don't care about the, the shirt. She's coming for I that. Want the printer. <laughs> Heard that. Fuck yeah. Are you ready to play? Yep. All right, let's do it. Category one. Come and knock on our door. Come and knock, knock on, on my door. door. I've been waiting, waiting for, for you. Three's coming in two. That wasn't part of the question, <clears throat> but it felt good. In the original made for TV movie, It. Which character did John Ritter portray? Your choices are Bill Denbro, Richie Tizier, Eddie Kasprak, or Ben Hanscom. He's a handsome Hanscom. I have no idea. <laughs> this is a very uh, weird, obscure question. What the fuck is this question? <laughs> In what world, uh, Jeff? I'm going to say A. Ah, it's, it's D. It's so. Ben Hanscom. But I kind of want to give you the right answer because fuck you, Jeff, <laughs> for that. Um, I, <laughs> someone's saying sound effects. I, I can't today. It's not working. Um, come on, come on. <laughs> Everyone knows that one. Ben Hanscom. Uh, Jack, your question. The seventies, eighties hit TV sitcom three's company was inspired by which British sitcom? Your choices are a man about the house. B the family fancy C on the buses or D doctor at large. This is my dad's favorite show. So I should know this. <laughs> uh, I was literally talking about this last night with you. How oh, this is my dad's favorite show. <laughs> Didn't we talk about this last night? Three's company two. Yeah, we did. Uh, you said he was watching with headphones on. Yes, he watches with headphones on. Um, okay. Which one of these sounds the most British? <laughs> um, <laughs> they all sound pretty fucking British. On the buses. <laughs> oh, on the bus. Oh, the family fancy. Tune in this evening at 8 o'clock. For the family Do fancy, followed by a riveting episode of On the Buses. Dr. Large. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say Man About the House. You are absolutely correct, Jack. It is really? a Man About the House. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, let's the go. The one we didn't touch on. <laughs> well, it sounds, it sounds like it's a guy about, I don't know. <laughs> Category two, are you ready? Yeah. It is the Samuel Adams family. Hmm? Okay. See what he did there? See what we did there? Okay. In the Adams family movie... Dr. Greta Pinderschloss was Fester's fake doctor. What does her name basically translate to in German? Greta Pinderschloss. Your choices are A, dementia, B, misery, C, nut house, D, light bulb. 
Great movie. Greta Pinderschloss. Pinder- so I think the part we're looking for is Pinderschloss. Pinderschloss. Can I get like a 50 50? Yes. Like- <laughs> okay. Your, your choices are A or C. Pinderschloss. C? Absolutely right. Yay. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Boom, beep. But to be fair, Jack gets a 50 50 X. No, he doesn't. You don't make the rules. You're only fair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. I, I like. I like Kyra. I, make the rules. I don't. I don't even want to. Win. I don't even want to win anymore. <laughs> Dude, that's better from being a good sport. Kyra, that's yeah. so sweet. Uh, Jack, what's the name of Pugsley Adams' pet octopus? Your choices are A. Aristotle. B. Homer. C. Merlin. D. Cleopatra. Um. Merlin? Ooh, I'm sorry. The answer was A, Aristotle, sir. Oh. Bam, bam. <laughs> Ruined. <laughs> Category three. Clips me, you fool. Um, what film is this following clip from? What the fuck? Where do you find this movie, Jeff? Oh my Dude. god. What the what fuck? What was that? Are these actual movies? They make me so like uncomfortable, a, dude. I feel like Jeff has like a a hidden film bank of just movies that never came out. Yeah. And he's just pulling from those. Um, okay, so what is that clip from? Your choices are A, How to Get Ahead in Advertising, B, Brainstorm, C, Max Headroom, D, Heartbeeps. Um... That was a weird movie, so I'm going to pick the weirdest title. So I'm going to say D. You're absolutely right. It is Heartbeeps. <laughs> what the? What is, what is the plot of that movie? I, I have by to know. Way, Heartbeeps is definitely the name of this episode, and it's definitely the name of All Time Low's next record. For That's a great sure. Heartbeeps. I love that. I love that. Um, well done. That was a good guess, Jack. <laughs> what film clip is this from? oh my god what Uh, the fuck i actually remember that movie i remember (laughs) that movie from my childhood i was sort of obsessed with it in a weird weird way um your choices are a dinos are forever b theodore rex c dizzy dizzy dinosaur d a land before time cops i want to say it's either b or d i'm gonna say b it is. It is Theodore Rex. Is it really? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> that movie. That movie is phenomenal. It's so bizarre. It's like. Oh my god. It's right in that like peak moment of like eighties, nineties film where. Just, Mar- uh, yeah, Mario Brothers maybe. Yeah, like Mario <laughs> Brothers. Just literally anything was on the table, and the studios were just going like, "Yeah, fuck it. Sure, do it. Not. Make that movie." <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Category four, The Oregon Trail. Are you ready? I remember that game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Covered wagons were known by three names. Prairie schooners, horse canoes, and what else? Your choices are A, winged canoes, B, muckstuckers, C, Conestoga wagons, or D, dust saddlers. I want to say Conestoga wagons because the only thing I have heard. Of. I'm wrong. Sure. Okay. Are you Wait. Sure about that? Are you sure about that? that was her answer. <laughs> was it though? I gave you a 50-50 that you didn't take. That's true. true. It's true. Um, she extended the olive branch. You know what? I'm, been... You know what? I'm not going to cheat. No, I okay. will. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> have another guess. Have another cheat, guess. Cheat. Cheat. Um, muck suckers. Oh. No, that, Unfortunately, that's both guesses were wrong. It is A, winged canoes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you should have just let me do it. Like, I, I, hope mine, it. <laughs> I hope mine. mine's about diarrhea, I hope, or like one of those dysentery ones. Cholera. Yeah. yeah. Who is the first in your party to die of dysentery? Was it A, <laughs> Gary, B, Betty? Um, Jack, which state did the Oregon Trail begin in? Your choices are A, Kansas, B, Wyoming, C, Pennsylvania, D, Missouri. Uh, fuck, it's either A or D. I want to say D. Fuck. Is it? Yeah. Let's go! Are you yeah. winning? 
He is, oh, he, shit. He's winning. It's two to three. It's two it's to three. three. It's two to three. You got time. There's it's hope. It's anyone's game. It's anyone's game. I like, I like this. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Category five. Earth, wind, and fire. Which element makes up 50% <laughs> of the Earth's crust? Your choices are A, silicon, B, oxygen, C, iron, D, gould. Um, hmm, crust. 50% of the <laughs> Earth's pizza crust. Um, Delicious. I don't eat the crust. I don't either. What? You're asking you two people to don't eat. You're asking two people to don't eat the crust. I've, I've been told that I'm weak for it, but I really don't care. Um, <laughs> I'm I would gonna have say, to agree. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, I'm like? gonna say iron. Oh man, it's oxygen though. Really? Really? Yeah. Fifty percent of the Earth's oxygen would fire. I would have said gold. Go. Fifty percent of the Earth's <laughs> crust is gold, is gold, Jack. Gold. Well, that where are we getting it from, Alex? Where else are we getting it from? <laughs> we'd be so we'd be so rich, Jack. We'd be so rich with gold. Gold. Ugh, stupid. This is so stupid. <laughs> I hate science questions so fucking much, dude. Science yeah. sucks. I'm not I'm a earth science person. I'm a bio person. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. What's the difference, uh, actually? Earth science is rocks. Yeah. Bio is blood. <laughs> the rocks inside you. The rocks yes. inside you. Yeah. <laughs> the episode name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jack, what was the original name of the band Earth, Wind, and Fire? Your choices are A, Salty Peppers, B, Gypsy Flame, C, Wishhorn, D, Restless Moons. Uh, okay. I don't know, but I'm gonna... Okay, not Salty Peppers. Uh, maybe. I'm gonna say Wishhorn. With... I'm gonna say B, Gypsy Flame. You're absolutely incorrect. It's Salty Peppers. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. Mm -hmm. Fuck! <laughs> the Red Hot Salty Peppers. Oh, ugh. Category six. This is big. Is it? World Capitals. <laughs> okay. I believe we're all tied up. We're not. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're still 2-3. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> Chance to tie it up. What is the capital city of Switzerland? Your choices are A, Zurich, B, Sion, C, Chur, D, Bern. I was so like excited to say Geneva, and it's not one of these. So. <laughs> I, I love that. I was so excited to say one of the options. It's not there. You're like, you're like I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess Geneva. It's like, uh, no, 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 no. It's definitely Geneva. math class. Um, I, I don't know. I'm gonna say D, because oh I know. Oh my god! Better. Yes, that's what that's what I was Let's gonna say. Go. Fuck. It's burn. It's, it's burn. burn. <laughs> We're tied up. Burn, baby, burn, 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 baby, burn, 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 burn. This is huge. This is huge. Jack, uh -oh. which European country has a capital city with the highest elevation? Your choices are A, Denmark, Fuck. B, Andorra, C, San Marino, Dan Marino, D, Luxembourg. Uh, I just got a guess. I'm just going to go with my gut. C, San Marino. You're absolutely fucking wrong. This is sick. Yeah. We got a tie. <laughs> Let's Andorra. go. Where the hell is Andorra? Andorra. Andorra sits 3,000 feet above sea level. Oh. Where is it? I don't know. <laughs> Guys, help. <laughs> Make your host look smart. Ryan, anyone? Where's Andorra? Andorra is a tiny independent principality situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains. How is anyone supposed to know that? <laughs> I knew that off the top of my head. <clears throat> I knew that. Let's go. Okay, this is it. Life or death. We're tied up. Right. Bonus question, huge. Without going over, modern humans first arose about 150,000 years ago. In that time frame, about how many generations of human beings have there been so far? <sighs> I'm bad at math. So modern humans first arose 150,000 years ago. In that frame okay. of time, how many generations of human beings have there been? Prices and right it's prices rules. right rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you go over, you're um, doomed. 150,000 years. I'll say 12,000. Uh, I'm going to say 5,000. Wow. 
Did wow. he win? <laughs> Unfortunately, he did. <gasps> What's the answer? What's the answer? The answer is 7,500 about. Oh, oh no. And so, unfortunately, you went over. Okay. It was a great <sighs> guess, though. That was, was a, a great guess. That was a very good, uh, well fought battle. Oh, man. It was. That was so good. It's okay. It was good. Yeah. A formidable. I'm a formidable sweating. Opponent. I'm sweating. It's okay if I don't get the printer. You deserve it. Take care of my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll print it's some so good, to, I'll print some good things for you. Yeah. <laughs> We'll to you, you and yours. Like one week. To you and yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for playing. This has been so much we, fun. We love you. Can we take a shot? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I have, I have a little bit of rosé left. I'm going to shoot <laughs> yes. that. All right. I'll Happy chug birthday. this. It was Happy birthday. <laughs> it was last Monday? It's last Friday. The last 16th. Friday. How old are you? I'm 16. 22. That's a good age. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Love you. Thanks for coming love on. You. Mm -hmm. Bye guys. Thanks go. for having me. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Love you, girl. See ya. A, formid a formidable opponent. A formidable opponent. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, she's back. <laughs> a, a formidable opponent. A formidable opponent. Formidable. Formidable. Do you and yours? Do you? <laughs> oh, she was so. She was so nice. <laughs> she was. Yeah, she was very nice. I kind of want to keep her on the show. Can we just have her on the show? Yeah. She she's can be our, our biologist. Is that what she said energy. she did? <laughs> she's back. <laughs> What's happening? She's, I'm, I'm happy that she wasn't doing anything inappropriate. The rocks, the rocks inside your body. Yes. Bi <laughs> biology. Geology is the rocks of the world. Biology is the rocks inside your body. I'm glad we cleared that up. It's time now for fun facts. Roll the song. The word luck is Middle Dutch in origin, coming from luk, a shortening of guluk, happiness, good fortune. Luck may have been borrowed into English in the 15th century as a gambling term. To you and yours. <laughs> the word cookie comes from the Dutch kusje, meaning little cake. <clears throat> Podcasting, previously known as audio blogging, has its roots dating back to the 1980s. The current form of podcasting we use today began to catch on in the late 2004. <laughs> Cheerios and circus peanuts candy may not sound like a winning formula, but that's the combo that inspired Lucky Charms cereal. That's awful. That's not good. That's fucking awful. Do not like that. Did someone add Circus Peanuts to Cheerios cereal one day? They went, hmm, maybe. Circus Peanuts, oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. maybe. Anyone who, eats, anyone who eats Circus Peanuts, that's what they have to sound like. Oh, maybe. Some, some big brain fuck in his, in his dungeon somewhere, love, in his stupid lair, was eating Cheerios. Fuck. <laughs> eating Cheerios in his lonely dungeon <clears throat> and went, mm, what if I put the Circus Peanuts in? Perhaps. Mm -hmm. Big brain fuck. <laughs> And Lucky Charms. <laughs> Piece of shit. Believe it or not, the relationship between Morticia and Gomez Adams was considered groundbreaking for the time. This is true. They were the first couple to be portrayed in a sitcom as being truly and passionately in love with each other. And their relationship was the first time a married sex life was even implied on television. Whoa. Yeah, because in, in I Love Lucy, they had separate beds. I love that. Which I think is the norm back then. Da 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 da, we fuck. Da 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 da, we fuck. Da 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 da. That's so nice. I love Good that. Good for them. Ah, Morticia, you spoke Morticia. French. Morticia. 
I just want someone to kiss me up my arm like that. Kiss me. Kiss me up my arm, please. The popular 80s cartoon series Thundercats had a staff psychologist who reviewed every script to make good on their promise to adults. Thundercats producers employed psychologist Robert Kuisis, Kuisis, PhD. Mm. Uh, who evaluated every script to make sure a strong moral lesson was being imparted in every episode. He wrote a brief report on the first 65 installments for station affiliates to read. Pretty cool. Kind of like, uh, reminds me of um, the end of G.I. Joe's. Thunder, 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 cats! It's a good message. <clears throat> it's a good message. Socially distancing trees, yep, crown shyness is a phenomenon observed in uh, some tree species in which the crowns of fully stocked trees don't touch each other. They make a canopy with channel-like gaps so that the trees uh, can better photosynthesize. The phenomenon is most prevalent <gasps> in trees of the same species, Whoa. but also occurs between trees of different species. Trees be smart. That's, co that's fucking crazy. Trees be smart. I actually saw a picture of that one time and like it sort of like, it fucked me up. It yeah, that's wild. Up. Cause it's like, Tree, you know, we could learn a lesson from trees, Alex. We should all take a step back. Maybe if we gave each other a little space, we could photosynthesize better. Hey, kids, maybe if we gave each other a little space, we could, hey, hey, kids, we don't always have to be touching. We don't have to be touching. We could photosynthesize. If we gave each other a little space, we could photosynthesize better, Size. kids. Come on, kids. Some shitty 90s like movie or uh, <laughs> like video. <laughs> to, like, yeah, like a fucking, like a, like a commercial for abstinence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, kids. We don't always have to be touching. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. I love uh, it. It's so stupid. It's time now for bad advice from good boys. Let's move on. A new installment of bad advice from good boys. Gets me every time. Let's go. Come, Come on, kids. Come on, kids. Come on, kids. We don't always have to be touching. <laughs> you can right? touch when you're older. Save it for <laughs> save it for marriage, kids. Give yourself what? a little room to photosynthesize. <laughs> I'm 32 and I'm not touching. I'm We're so not cool. touching anybody. Huh? Come on, kids. Let's go. Go. You want to be cool like us? Don't be touching. You know it's not cool. AIDS. Do I? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do I look like the kind of guy that needs to touch? No. All right, 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 guys. I didn't do the AIDS thing. That was Jack. Yeah, let's, <clears throat> let's um, reel it in. Let's reel it all in. All right. Um, it's time for bad advice from good boys. As always, we are- No, no, no. We don't have to do that this time. There's no, there's no, there's no, nobody wrote in asking for advice. This is all scary stories. I do like stories. to still point out that we are stupid oh. yeah. at the top of this Yes. No, oh, yes, of course. Nobody forget we are dumb. Okay. Having said that, if you don't know that by now, an hour and a half into the show, yeah. maybe you're the stupid one. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you got to cut, because if you want to be cool like us, and you want to photo We don't have to be dungeon kids. <laughs> God damn it. I'm going to start right. walking around this forest back here. <laughs> maybe take a, maybe uh, take a minute. Take a lap. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> All, right, gonna, uh, All right, I'm going to go. Woo. All, All right, right, so full disclosure, I have not read this yet, but I have to just read you the subject, and then that made me want to read the story. Okay. Mm -hmm. The subject is my toddler's reincarnation story. So I, I didn't proof this, so if it's bad, I'm sorry. Here we go. Uh-oh. My, at the time, toddler, she is now 10, gave me probably my creepiest story I've ever had the displeasure of telling. She was about two or three at the time, way too young to understand the concept of death or anything like that. She was playing quietly in the living room, and I was cleaning our attached dining room. She turned and looked at me, and in a dead serious tone, she says to me, Mommy, I hope you stay with me and don't go away like my other mommy. It was so hot, and I was so scared, and she was yelling. Then I had you. 
I miss her, but I hope she doesn't feel the ouchies like I did. I'm glad I have you now. As I said, she was about three. She's never seen any movie where anyone could have died in a fire or anything like that. So we have no idea where she could have imagined anything like this. Our best guess is that she was remembering a past life where her mother or and her as a young child died in a fire. Your, your guess is as good as mine. She's 10 now, and still every, every once in a while she talks about her old mommy. She also loves your side project. Love from both of us, Brittany and Aurora. Mm-mm. That's Holy a weird shit. one. Mm-mm. Holy it shit. It was so hot, and I was so scared, and she was yelling. I'm going to go walk around this wood. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need a minute. Oh, oh my God. Oh, no. um, That's weird. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? What do you think that is? Where do you think that comes from? Like, kids do say the darndest things. And the power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels like, you. Yeah. What the fuck, though? Because no, kids I'm, do that. You Little may want to dip your kid in holy water. I'm no scientist, but we know. Okay, but I feel like maybe when they're awake and they see things around, you know, their their brain is still absorbing them. So in their minds, they're they're kind of dreaming of it, putting it all together, and then they come up with stories. It, do you think that's what it is? That it's like. Children I hope it are is. So, they're so just, malleable and like they're not quite there yet. Form like they're not formed yet. Spongy. So these this raw information comes in in like ways that they don't have the capability to process, and so they come up with stories like that. Yeah, that's what I'd like to think. Or, that's or a, hoping. a dream. Or, they don't understand the concept of a dream, so they had the mm. dream and then they woke up and thought, "Oh, I hope that doesn't happen." That's a good mm-hmm. point. Yeah, it is indeed time to go to church cat yeah um that's that's weird because there's one right down this path behind me i was gonna go to <laughs> you just walk this way don't do it um i have an interesting fact that you guys might know but it, it's uh it was sent in by Kristen c okay. from new jersey and it was a tweet from comicbook.com it says 2020 will be the first year in a decade that a movie in the mcu which is marvel comic universe is that right that's right yeah. A uh, movie Cinematic. in the MCU won't finish as the highest grossing superhero flick of the year. Instead, the title is set to go to Sonic mm. the Hedgehog. Oh. It's like, <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I hate that so much. <laughs> Let's go, Sonic. Yes. Uh, that's pretty good. Yes. Um. Okay, so I have a long spooky story here, but I, I, I tried to reach out and see if it was real because it seems a little too far-fetched. But either way, it's a good premise for a spook story. So mm-hmm. um, I'm just going to go for it. This is, comes from Emma I'm ready in Australia. For the spoops. Give me the Austral- spoops, right? And I'll str- okay, I'm, I'm trying to, man. Give me. <laughs> Give me the spoops. Okay. Give me the spoops. Um, this blah, blah, blah is preamble here. It's, it's a story. Every night, he would hear noises coming from the roof. This is a place where he's living. And experts, pest control, animal control, etc., would tell him there's nothing there. It must be some animals coming in at night to escape the weather. There would be no noise while he was awake, only while he was asleep and it would wake him up. After hearing from multiple people that it was just animals and nothing to be concerned about, he started getting used to the sounds. Until one night, he started hearing whispering, like two people were having a quiet conversation together. He yelled out and told them to leave him alone. Every night after that, the sounds and movements he heard only got worse. He started to hear these voices tell him to wake up in the morning right before his alarm was about to go off. Some mornings, he would go to make his breakfast, and the milk and cereal would already be out for him. Sometimes, remotes or devices would be hidden in random places of the house, and one time, his computer screensaver was changed to a photo of two random people he had never seen before. He also recalled a moment when he was taking a bath, and afterwards, he went to make dinner to find that the stove had been turned on and the pan had been heated up with oil ready to go. He bullied it all down to his own forgetfulness, that he was misplacing the remotes and devices himself, that he was probably sleepwalking, and eventually took some time off work because he thought it was just the stress getting to him. For the whole week he spent at home and the first week back at work, he didn't hear any noises at all and nothing was misplaced. Second week back to work, however, he started noticing things going missing and started hearing noises again. He contacted the real estate agency to see if anything had happened in the house before he moved in or any previous tenants had sent any complaints. The agent told him that the house used to belong to a family of four, but their two teenage children went missing, presumably dead. Nope. Mm -hmm. After they thought their kids were deceased, they decided to move and keep the house as a rental, and he was their first and only tenant. So in his mind, Daniel believed the two teenagers were in fact dead, and their spirits were haunting him. He asked a friend to stay over to find out if she could also hear the noises. She had a great idea to set up cameras in the rooms, hear the sounds coming from, to see if they could catch anything. The cameras kept footage overnight, and they were kept on during the day as they both went to work. When they got home, they started to watch what the cameras caught. 
They heard whispers, saw things being thrown out from out of camera sight into camera sight, but never actually saw any ghosts or spirits. All throughout the night, that's all they saw and heard. They kept playing the video just in case. They kept playing the video just in case something came up during the day, and that's when they saw the reason behind the whispers and the, two, and the movements and moving of objects. Two teenagers, one boy and one girl, walking around the house as if they knew where everything was. They turned on the TV to watch movies, they ate food from the fridge, and they had showers in his bathroom. The young girl waved to the camera at one point and said, Hi, Daniel, don't tell our parents we're here, and we will leave you alone. The only thing, they weren't ghosts. They were actual human beings. In fact, they were the two teenagers that had been missing and presumed dead. The same two people in the screensaver photo that had been changed. They had been living in the house the entire time, hiding away from their parents, and there was a time between the owners moving out and Daniel moving in that the teens were living in the house wild and free. So I'm not really sure if that's, if that's true or not. Well, if there's video footage, I, I wrote back. And I, the footage, yeah, yeah, I asked. I asked for some proof, and she said she's going to ask Daniel for it. So hopefully, on Halloween, we can give you a follow-up because oh I would gosh. love to get my hands on that footage. Oh, be wonderful. That what? is insane. It's a also, scary. Did you guys story. hear that? Yeah. Sound like heavy breathing or I heard heavy. It sounded wind. Like heavy breathing and saying space mm. touching, but I, I didn't hear. Well, it was wind. I just wind. Um, but yeah, it's a great story. Either way, like I, I'm happy. I was I was reading it in here, and I was getting all a little you know a little scared, and I liked it, dude. I, I will say this. I don't think I would be that upset about a ghost that like prepared things for me. Yeah. I'm just gonna say, like, at, a, at a certain point, I just, be you, like, could oh, thanks, you could probably use that. I'm not going to lie. It was, like a, it was a butler that died in the house, but didn't, didn't want to finish yeah, the buttering. Like, part of the spookiness was like there, I was going to cook something and there was a pan already on the stove with oil heated. <laughs> Like God so damn it! Nice. God damn it, Jeremy! You know I hate meatloaf. Stop making me yeah. fucking meatloaf. This is so <laughs> convenient, you fucking ghost. Uh, lobsters again? Damn it! <laughs> lobster crying out loud. It's um, weird though. Uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, I like it. Everybody's saying, "Look behind me." I don't get it. Who is the chat? Yeah, chat saying, they're... "Look, look behind you, Alex. Look Just behind don't, you." WTF? Don't, don't Alex, do it. don't look behind you. You'll freak out. Why? I think you're fine, man. Yeah. yeah, everything looks pretty normal. Um, just one last thing, just a reminder that huh. next week is Halloween, and we are going to do a little costume party. I don't really yeah. know what I'm saying. The <laughs> costumes costume in. Costume party. party. And on mm. that note, our lovely, lovely Dwight, he sent in some, uh, some Halloween costumes from years past of he and his wife. So we, I think we have a little slideshow of that mm. or some images of that. Reed, do we have that? Let's take a look. Yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's yeah. go. Yeah. Aww. And then they have Bob and Linda from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> and then yes. Janet Snakehole and Burt Macklin, which is yes. great. Yes. Like, so like, good. Wow, you look exactly like Chris Pratt. <laughs> yeah, and then Love this it. is Tiffany and her mom. Aww. <laughs> I often say her mom looks like Danny DeVito. Oh, Jesus, Dwight. Tiffany convinced her mom to go as Danny DeVito as the red M&M from the Super Bowl commercial. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, don't forget to send in your, your costumes. <laughs> Which email are we doing, Reed? Info? Is that Jesus. info? Dwight. Yeah. Info. 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 Info at crashtestlive.com. There it is. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag CTL costumes on Twitter. You can, uh, you can just tag us and uh, send it on Twitter if you want. Um, <laughs> <laughs> picture's so good. Oh, boy. Uh, well, great we want to see your oh. costume. That's gone. Oh, no, I was just, uh, he's back. Yeah, well, that was fun. That was fun, boys. That's a fun show, guys. Well done. This has been, this has been a good time. Well oh. done. Well done. It was a good one. I'm going to go take a walk. <laughs> Stop. Stop All saying right. that. All right. <laughs> stop saying that. <sighs> Why won't he stop saying that? <laughs> what? Jack. What did we learn? <laughs> what did we learn? Uh, don't eat your friends. Yeah. Uh, Alex hates Jack Schnacks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bears eat bears. It's a bear eat bear world. It's a bear eat bear world. You gotta be careful. Um, trees be smart. Trees do be smart. Yeah, trees do remember, be smart. Kids, remember, kids. <laughs> keep some space for the photosynthesis. Um, <laughs> trees do be smart. Truth, uh, uh, biology is just uh, rocks inside your body. That's right. It's the geology of the heart. Um, Alex just wants someone to kiss him. And also, hey kids, no, oh, you have to, won't be touching, photosynthesize. <laughs> Why did you just go Bill Cosby with it? 
I don't know. We can't. No, no, Why no. Why should you go Bill Cosby with it? I don't know. It's like I felt no like my nine. My nineties voice came out. My nineties voice. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm pretty. I got I got to call. Hey, it. make sure you like and subscribe <laughs> on YouTube uh, at Crash Test Live, please. Your likes and <clears throat> subscriptions uh, are invaluable to us. I'm talking. Make us some money, people. Um, merch is always available in the store. The uh, we got bear shirts. We got mugs. <clears throat> uh, the code is probably active until about 7 p.m. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I guess. Am sure. I right? Oh, no code today, Reed No says. code, no Reed code said, today. No code, we weren't feeling generous today. Sorry, y'all. Um, <laughs> but uh, you can still get stuff for the full price. Uh, you want to compete on Master Debaters? Debaters at Crash Test Live. Do you want to be on Are You Smarter Than Jack? Smarter at CrashTestLive.com. Uh, general info and fan submitted stories. Info at CrashTestLive.com. And uh, please, like I said, um, send us, uh, send us your, your costumes. You know, send us your costumes. As always, and as always, to you and yours. To you and yours, everyone. This has been fun. Uh, one, one moment. Just one moment. Uh, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just play you guys the song. Uh, God Have damn it, dude. Have a lovely evening. <laughs> Have a lovely evening, everyone. Enjoy! Thank you for watching Crash Test Live. We'll see you next time. Goodbye! Goodbye!